Hi, we're uh, ready for another Daily Meta, continuing our way through Search for a Nonviolent Future. We've talked about the etymology and the definition of nonviolence, and uh, we want to spend a little bit of time today on one of its uh, major misconceptions and a famous uh, talk that was given by a friend of the Indians in 1906 when the Satyagraha campaign had been started, but they didn't have that name for it yet. That name actually only came about uh, in 1908. And this well-meaning British uh, person got up at a meeting and addressed the crowd and said, the Transvaal Indians have had recourse to passive resistance when all other means of securing redress proved to be of no avail. Now that is an important part, and that's true. You always try communicating first, you try conversation first, even if you think that your opponent is very unlikely to listen to you. It's important to have made that address, to have aroused in the opponent the idea of his possible uh, communication on the verbal level. So that part's great. And, but then Hoskins goes on to say, numerically, they are only a few, they are weak and have no arms. Therefore, they have taken to passive resistance, which is the weapon of the weak. Now, this is the beginning of Gandhi's career, but uh, if you know Gandhi, you will not be surprised to hear that he practically jumped out of his seat when he heard that. He was deeply convinced that what they were doing was, A, not passive resistance. Passive resistance was being done by the suffragettes in the UK, and if you happen to have seen the recent film, you know that that was not a nonviolent movement. It eschewed violence when they thought it wouldn't work. Uh, but the main part is that it's this complete reversal of expectations. It's a complete reversal of our world picture and our image of ourselves to think that nonviolence is the weapon of the weak when in fact it's the weapon of the very, very strong. So let's talk a little bit more about that next time, and I hope that you are all joining the experiment in your own way. Thank you.